Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be going over five of my current favorite AI tools and softwares. Let's go ahead and get started. My current number one and favorite AI tool is called Harpa AI. So I've done a couple of reviews of Harpa AI already on this channel. So if you wanna check those out, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. But essentially it's a chat GPT Chrome extension and it allows you to do a variety of different things. You can generate short and long form text. You have a variety of different productivity prompts and you can also um, do a lot of marketing and SEO specific tasks by using this Chrome extension. So this Chrome extension is powered by ChatGPT, but they also have some very unique machine learning um, technology that allows you to combine ChatGPT with live web pages. And you also have the ability to monitor websites. You can monitor different websites for price changes. You can spy on your competitors and you can set up metrics um, that you track for competitor websites. So there's a lot of different use cases that you have with Harpo AI and a lot of different things that you can do with this powerful Chrome extension. This is my current favorite Chrome extension. At the time of recording this video, it is also completely free to use. So if you'd like to use this for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. My second favorite AI tool is Perplexity AI. I really like Perplexity AI because it allows you to be able to access live and up-to-date information by using a chat box like ChatGPT. So it is powered by ChatGPT, but we all know the biggest limitation with ChatGPT is that it's not trained on information past 2021. So if you're writing more up-to-date articles or you need to access data that's more up-to-date, you wouldn't be able to do so with ChatGPT. So Perplexity AI fills that gap by allowing you to be able to access um, the chat box and access information that is updated and past 2021. So for instance, if you wanted to ask about the weather or if you wanted to ask about NBA games or any live sporting event, you would be able to get answers from Perplexity, while if you were to do the same thing on ChatGPT, you would not be able to get those answers. So by combining Perplexity AI with ChatGPT, you're able to do research on any new or up-to-date information, and then you can take that information and plug it into ChatGPT, which allows you to then be able to write more up-to-date and factual articles um, using both of these tools. So this is definitely a close second in terms of my favorite AI tools. As you can see here, it allows you to do your research a lot quicker compared to having to use Google. Um, if I were to search up a keyword, instead of having to go through all of those blog posts and websites, I can just get my answers right there and then. And I also have the ability to check for related questions that's also related to my query. So if I wanna go more in depth, if I wanna um, expand on something that I searched up, instead of again having to go through back on Google or reading through a full blog post, I can do it all within one place. So this allows you to do your research a lot quicker. This allows you to get to the information that you're trying to get to also a lot quicker and allows you to research in a very streamlined way and gather data in a very easy manner. So I really like Perplexity AI. It's like having Google and ChatGPT all in one tool. If you'd like to try this out for yourself, you can try it out for completely free. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. My third favorite tool is Nuend Writer. The reason why I really like Nuend Writer is because it allows you to optimize your long form articles and blog posts very quickly. It's a little bit different from some of the other tools that I mentioned in today's video because it's not powered by ChatGPT or it's a very popular AI tool, but I do think it's still a very effective tool. So as I mentioned earlier, if you're creating longer forms of content, then it can be difficult for you to really quickly understand what you need to include in your articles to rank on the first page of Google. So the way that Nuent Writer works is you just enter a keyword. In this example, we wanted to rank for the keyword, how to become a better listener. And once you enter that keyword on the right hand side, you'll get a list of keywords and a list of recommendations that you need to follow in order to outrank the first or the second or third um, blog posts or websites for that specific keyword. So for this example, we can see some specific keywords that we need to include within our articles. We'll also see some specific keywords that we need to include within our H1 and our H2 tags. And once you write your content and you paste it into Nuon Writer, you'll get a content score between zero and 100. The higher the number, the more optimized your content is. So while you can do content research with other tools for free, like Harper AI, this makes it a lot quicker. And it also kind of takes the guesswork out of doing things because um, it's built to go out and do a SERP analysis of all of the top 10 or 25 rank um, websites for any specific keyword. So it'll take all that information aggregate that information and put it all into one place so that you can quickly see what you need to do to optimize your content. 
So essentially it is a surfer AI alternative, but I believe it's better and it's also much more cheaper compared to surfer AI. At the time of recording this video, there is a lifetime deal available for Nuren Rider on AppSumo. So the tier one plan starts at $69. That is a one-time payment and you'll get 25 content analysis per month. And you also get 15,000 AI credits um, per month. You can go all the way up to a code seven, which is $483 one-time payment. And you can optimize up to 200 pieces of content each month and you'll get over a hundred thousand credits. So this is much more cost effective compared to other content optimization tools you pay one time and you're able to get um, a pretty decent amount of content analysis and AI credits each month. So if you're writing longer forms of content and you need to optimize it to increase the likeness of ranking on the first page of Google, I highly recommend checking out Neuron Writer. I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. My fourth favorite AI tool at the moment is SGPT. I like this tool because it's more fun than anything. It allows you to access um, ChatGPT on your phone. So essentially you'll download two shortcuts and you'll be able to then plug in your own API key from OpenAI, and then you'll be able to have a variety of different commands to access ChatGPT on your phone. Just like how you can ask any questions on the web app with ChatGPT, you can do the same thing on your phone. So you can ask it a variety of different questions, such as what is the meaning of life? And it will be able to give you an answer because again, it's powered by GPT-4 or GPT-3, whichever model you decide to use. So if you wanted to access ChatGPT very quickly or on the go, then this would be a great solution for you. It also connects with some of your native apps. So it connects with your calendar, with your notes and with your music. So that means you can use SGPT to allow um, ChatGPT to create a custom playlist for you. You can ask it to check your calendar um, and for you to organize a trip or for you to um, figure out when is the best time for you to book a meeting. Because again, it will be connected with all of those native apps on your phone. I'll also leave a link for the tutorial that shows you how to download and install SGPT on your phone. So that is my fourth favorite AI tool. Now, my fifth favorite AI tool is not necessarily a tool. It's more of a resource which allows you to find and get some really good deals on AI tools. So if you head over to AppSumo and you search up AI, you'll be able to see all of the AI tools that they have that have a limited lifetime deal. But most people don't take the time to take advantage of these deals. And I found some really, really good tools, especially when they first launch, will have a lifetime deal on AppSumo. And if you're able to get in quickly, you're able to save a lot of money in the long run because you just pay one time and you'll have access to that tool forever instead of having to pay monthly. So if we enter AI, we'll see a variety of different AI tools. We have Word Hero, which is an AI content writer. And if you wanted to get some more high quality tools, just filter by the number of customer ratings. And as you can see here, you have a variety of different tools to choose from. Pretty good tools are Scrapey. So Scrapey is a website analysis tool. So essentially you will um, connect your website to this tool and it will give you recommendations that you need to follow to increase the overall on-page and off-page SEO score of your website. Kateb is a fact-checked AI writer. So it allows you to write um, blog posts or articles, but also include more factual information. Write Cream is another AI copywriter, new and writer we went over in today's video. But as you can see here, there's a bunch of really, really good tools and softwares that you can find for any niche that you're in. So I highly recommend checking out AppSumo if you are looking for some lifetime deals, there's some really good grabs in there that will allow you to save a lot of money in the long run. So those are five of my favorite AI tools and softwares. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like the best and also let me know if there's a tool that you're using that you really like. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.